Steve. Welcome everybody to another edition of the Yonkers Voice. Slightly different news coming to you today. Uh, we're sitting with Donna Nolan, somebody that we've met a couple of years ago under tragic, tragic, tragic moments. As you know, the Yonkers Voice is a very uh, hands-on news organization. We're there, we're on scene, we're with the camera, we let you make your decisions. Uh, what brings us here today? is an article written by the Yonkers Tribune about the Nolan family. Uh, and again, two years ago, uh, the Nolan family lost their son to a shooting here at Yonkers. Donna, welcome to the show. Thank you. Specifically, Donna, we wanted to hear your, your, your side of this. What happened? Um, as again, Yonkers Tribune has written, Donna Nolan, and I quote, has learned to spin yarn to her family's personal benefit by keeping her family in the money. Jimmy, her husband, is on disability. James, her oldest son, is a custodian employed by Yonkers City. Paul, Joe, another son, is employed by the Department of Public Works, uh, and so on and so forth. This, this goes on. There's no, there's no um, spinning yarn here. Um, what is it? My husband is retired. Did he get out because of illnesses that he had from Ground Zero? Absolutely. No one's ever denying that. Do I have three sons that filled out job applications and got jobs? Yes, they did. I mean, there's no spinning yarns here. There's no backdoor dealings. There's no, there's none of that going on. Well, well, according to the, according to what I've read, and according to what we have here, uh, a civil servant's exam was supposed to be taken. Uh, it, it alleges that the kids did not have to go through a civil uh, service examination. No, not for the three positions that they're in. There is no civil service exam that has to be taken for them. What That's positions would those uh, would that be? Uh, Jimmy is a custodian with the Yonkers Public Schools. Joe is on DPW, and Nikki's doing seasonal with the parks. It's okay. Uh, there's more allegations uh, written here, and I'm going to we're going to put that on camera in a little bit. Uh, or when we run this, uh, run this story, but since the shooting of Michael and your loss, you've uh, you've put together a benefit annually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's alleged that you were selling beer and liquor without a permit, and that's a yeah. lie. That's an absolute lie because there is the liquor license issued to us by New York State and filed with the city of Yonkers for us, allowing us to sell beer at the softball tournament. So that's just a lie. Okay, so we've, we've opened up, and so far, uh, we've, we've covered a couple of things in a very short amount of time, and <laughs> we're not gonna make this too long, but we do wanna address exactly what the Yonkers Tribune has put out there. Uh, okay. It seems it seems pretty hefty when somebody alleges that you're on disability. Is Jimmy on disability? No. And is he working? On no, disability? Jimmy is retired from the Carpenters Union since 2011. We all know, everyone in Yonkers knows, he was a 9 11 first responder. We fought very hard, unlike other facilities. We had to fight for our benefits and to get what he had to get. So was there's, he no a, there's no disability. There's no disability he's retired, whatsoever. He's, Check from disability. No, doesn't come he's, to gym. he's retired yeah. on his social security and his pension. And again, I don't see what that has to do with anything in this story. I mean, I, they're making it out like he's some fraudster. He's not. He's retired on his social security disability. Next question. What's what's your take on it? Why would somebody just go out of their way? Obviously, you know, somebody who's um, a very has is just a miserable person. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. They really should. They ought to be ashamed of themselves that they put these lies out there, not thinking that we would defend ourselves. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to defend my family. You're not going to attack my family and make up lies and think that it's okay. So whoever did it should be ashamed of themselves. And I can only hope that, you know, if they sleep good at night, maybe God will bless them and their families. It goes into a political spin. Uh, you would run for office at one point? Back, it was a special election um, against Shelley Mayer. It was something that I, I wanted to do. Um, unfortunately, the year before that, yeah, my father did suffer a stroke, a spinal stroke. I mean, he lives with me, um, and I just didn't feel that it was, I just didn't feel it was 
a good time for me to go, leaving my father. He does struggle with a couple of things, and I didn't feel it was time to go. Special That's... election, Shelly gets the, you know, dad is sick. Yeah. You go to his aid. There's nothing more to it than that. We have a liquor license. We deny that Jimmy is on any kind of social security, or rather any uh, disability, as as the alleged, uh, as it's alleged in the Argos Tribune. It seems like everything that's written here uh, isn't uh, isn't true. Was there a fight at the? Was there a fight? Yes, there was a fight at the softball game. Were there videos? Was uh, there underage drinking? You no, know, there was no underage drinking. We had volunteer bartenders there who were checking for ID. There was a fight. Um, honestly, to say what the fight exactly was about, I, that I don't know. There was there was words exchanged. The guys that had words, you know. Everybody was having a good time that day. Words were being exchanged, and like any other normal situation, when you're around people and the, you know everybody gets their beer muscles, words were exchanged, and a fight broke out. It was taken care of very quickly by a, a, a lot of people. We made sure it dispersed. They were asked to leave. What the police called? Yes, they were. They were called by my son, Jimmy. They were called by a lot of people that were there because there was a comment made as this car was leaving the parking lot that they were coming back to light this place up. So why not? Why wouldn't we call the police? The police came. They talked to witnesses. They took statements. They went to the kid who claimed his bike was stolen by us, and they dealt with him. I'm not denying that there was a, there was a fight. Did we go around taking people's phones? No. That absolutely did not happen. Not from my family. Did other people? I don't know. I'm not worried about what everyone else was doing. I'm worried about what my family was doing. I, uh, this benefit, mm -hmm. how, how did you do this year? We actually did very well. We had another great turnout. Um, you know, we raised a lot of, we know we raised another lot, nice amount of money, um, which, well, the eight students was actually the eight students that we were able to give the scholarships to this year in June, that was money that we did at the basketball tournament. So now this money here that we raise, we will now focus towards, you know, the next eight set of students that'll be coming up in June. You know, and then it, it, it just seems like so much was stated <laughs> by the Yonkers Tribune with Ari, uh, with Hazi Ari. If, 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 if Aris was here right now, what would you say to him? First of all, I would tell him. I, I would ask him why he printed that story. I don't even know who he is. Honestly, I don't know who he is. Why he felt the need to print that story? And as a reporter, I just feel your job should be, especially something like this. Well, you know what? There's two sides to a story. Let me give her a call. Let me write to her on Facebook. See if she wants to answer any questions. And if I didn't, if I denied <laughs> to answer them, then hey, fine. Then that would mean. But he didn't even do that. But do you have a relationship, or you know, any sort of experiences? in the past with the Yonkers Tribune that they would look to write? No, I don't. I just know I just know of him. I've never met him. I just know who he is to see a picture of him or just to see his name. I think I want to conclude. I mean, I don't think that I missed anything. Do you, do you feel I missed anything at this point about this article? There's just so many lies in there. It, it's, Is there it's any truth sad. to what he wrote? No, absolutely not. There's nothing true as to anything he wrote there. I showed you the liquor license. You want to go to the police station and see about police reports? Go right ahead. I mean, they'll have them. I have no problem with that. I'm, their cops are not covering anything up. There's no reason to cover anything up. Nothing was done illegally. Nothing was done wrong. So, I mean... The whoever, civil, okay, so the kids don't need to take civil service exams no for the positions they're in no you had a liquor license mm -hmm. your father got sick you had no choice you had to walk away from office yeah uh, you put money together you've raised uh, now this would be your second annual this is the second, this annual, is the second annual softball annual tournament yes. softball tournament that you guys put together so you think has he just went ahead and made this up I don't either he made it up or somebody's given him some really bad information I mean either way it's lies what you're saying is that this complete article is, is is one big lie. Yeah. Have you done anything? Have you reached out to Hezzy? Have no. you asked him to retract no. the statement? Nope. Why not? For what? Did he bother to contact me and tell me somebody just gave me all this information about you and your family? You want to give me a statement on it? For what? No. 
I don't have to. I don't have to explain to, I don't owe anyone and I don't have to explain to anyone what goes on with my kids, who I support in an election, what we do as far as the scholarship fund. Every, there's not, this, it, he should have called me and asked me, Donna, listen, somebody gave me all this information. You want to make a statement on it? And I would have given him a statement. But he didn't. He went and printed it and he put it up there. And, you know, the little bandwagon that he has, his little cheerleaders that go on his, you know, his blog with fake names all have their comments to make. But that's all right. I don't care because everything with the Michael Nolan Scholarship Fund is legit. Whoever feels that they know something about Michael or have questions about why Michael wasn't down, come to me and ask me. Come to me and ask me and I will tell you. I don't need to broadcast it. I don't need to broadcast anything about my son, Michael. I don't care who likes it and who don't like it. We're not here about Michael and today, Donna. What I'm here about is and an article that we that was brought to my attention. Uh, we're here to get your side of the story. And that's it. And uh, I think I think we had enough here. Um, folks, any questions, Donna is on the Yonkers Voice pages. Uh, if you're not on the Yonkers Voice, please join us on the Yonkers Voice Central Facebook you can always uh, see our stuff on our external page, www.yonkersvoice.com. And I want to sit. And wanna, I want to take the time to thank you. Thank to you. Actually, sit with us, and um, I guess we'll call the Yonkers Tribune next. Good luck. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you. And we'll uh, we'll see you soon, guys.